Hello guys! Welcome to Law Diaries Lens Commentarios. So for today's video, we are going to talk about Article 50 to Article 57 of the RPC. So pinagsama-sama ko na lahat ng articles na to guys kasi mas maganda yung pag-explain kapag sama-sama ito at mas maiintindihan kapag pinagsama ko ng i-explain lahat ng provisions na ito kasi related lang yung 8 na provisions na ito. So, before tayo pumunta sa explanation guys, basahin muna natin yung provisions ng Article 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, at 57. Article 50 Penalty to be imposed upon principles of a frustrated crime. The penalty next lower in degree than that prescribed by law for the consummated felony shall be imposed upon the principles in a frustrated felony. Article 51. Penalty to be imposed upon principles of attempted crime. The penalty lower by two degrees than that prescribed by law for the consummated felony shall be imposed upon the principles in an attempted to commit a felony. Article 52. Penalty to be imposed upon accomplice in a consummated crime. The penalty next lower in degree than that prescribed by law for the consummated felony shall be imposed upon the accomplice in the commission of a consummated felony. Article 53. Penalty to be imposed upon accessories to the commission of a consummated felony. The penalty lower by two degrees than that prescribed by law for the consummated felony shall be imposed upon the accessories of the commission of a consummated felony. Article 54. Penalty to be imposed upon accomplice in a frustrated crime. The penalty next lower in degree than that prescribed by law for the frustrated felony shall be imposed upon the accomplice in the commission of a frustrated felony. Article 55. Penalty to be imposed upon accessories of a frustrated crime. The penalty lower by two degrees than that prescribed by law for a frustrated felony shall be imposed upon the accessories to the commission of a frustrated felony. Article 56. Penalty to be imposed upon accomplice in an attempted crime. The penalty next lower in degree than that prescribed by law for an attempt to commit a felony shall be imposed upon the accomplice in an attempt to commit the felony. Article 57. Penalty to be imposed upon accessories of an attempted crime. The penalty lower by two degrees than that prescribed by law for the attempt shall be imposed upon the accessories to the attempt to commit a felony. So, grabe no, bongga-bongga yung provisions na to guys, from 50 to 57. But, huwag kayong mawindang guys, kasi i-explain eh, natin yan isa-isa at bakit ko yan pinagsama-sama. So, yung nasa articles 50 to 57 guys, ito yung mga penalties na may impose sa isang offender. So, ilang degree ba? na dapat na ipataw kapag yung offender is si principal or kapag si offender is si accomplice or kapag si offender is si accessory or ilang degree ba kapag yung nakumit na crime is hindi con consummated kundi frustrated or attempted so yun yung nasa article 50 to article 57 so before tayo magtungo sa in-depth explanation ng bawat provisions na to guys we must first know what is the meaning of degree ano ba yung degree na sinasabi ko guys and what is the meaning of period yung ganong ganon so what is a degree in relation to penalty a degree is one entire penalty one whole penalty or one unit of penalties enumerated in the graduated scales provided in article 71 each of the penalties of retention perpetual retention per Temporal, prison mayor, etc., enumerated in the graduated scales of Article 71 is a degree. When there is mitigating or aggravating circumstance, the penalty is lowered or increased by period only, except when the penalty is divisible and there are two or more mitigating and without aggravating circumstances, in which 
case, the penalty is lowered by degree. So, in reference sa uh, meaning ng degree, guys, you should uh, refer to your codal about Article 71, which is the graduated scales ng penalty, guys. Kung wala kayong codal, guys, please refer to my description box. Nilagay ko doon yung graduated scales na nasa Article 71. Anyway, ipapakita ko siya guys. Yung scale number 1 lang yung ipapakita ko. Sinulat ko siya actually and please excuse my penmanship guys. I know na hindi maganda yung penmanship ko so please bear with me. So, ito yung mga scale na makikita mo sa article 71 guys. This is the scale number 1. Hindi ko na sinali yung uh, scale number 2. So, sa first uh, in line sa list, sa list na nasa article 71 guys is the death. So, munod yung reclusion perpetua, tas reclusion temporal, then we have prison mayor, then prison correctional, arresto mayor, disiero, arresto minor, public censure, and fine. So, ito yung sequence na scale nila. So, when we say degree, guys, sabi dito, yung degree meaning isa yung buong penalty or it refers to a whole penalty. So, when we say death, death is a one degree. Ang death na to, guys, is isa na tong degree ng penalty. Itong reclusion perpetual, guys, this is a one degree penalty. Itong reclusion temporal, isang one degree penalty na to, guys. Meaning, guys, itong death, isa talaga siyang whole or isang unit ng penalty. So, when we say degree, guys, it refers to one unit or one whole of penalty. So, for example, that that is one degree. Again, reclusion perpetual is one degree. Ito lahat, guys, sigua one degree ito na penalty. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng degree. Now, let's go to what is a period of penalty. A period is one of the three equal portions called minimum, medium, and maximum of the visible penalty. This is cited in the provision of Article 65. Yung isang penalty, guys, is pwede siyang ma-divide into three equal na portions ng kanilang penalties. At yun yung uh, mga division niya is minimum, medium, at saka maximum. So, yun yung ibig sabihin na periods. Now, let's go to what are the basis for the determination of the extent of penalty to be imposed under the revised penal code. So, ito yung basihan natin, guys, kung paano ba uh, ka super duper extent ganun yung i-impose na penalty ng isang tao or isang offender so number one the stage which by the by the crime is development so ito yung stage na na, na reach ng isang offender sa pagkumitya ng crime guys it could be um attempted uh frustrated or consummated so i have a video for this guys i'll just link it on the description box below okay and the number two, sa participation therein of the person's liable. Kung ano ba yung, uh, ano ba yung participation ng isang offender sa isang crime. So, siya ba si principal? Siya ba si accomplice? Or siya ba si accessory? So, ito yung sinasabi nito. And then the last one is the aggravating or mitigating circumstances which attended the commission of the crime. Or meron bang aggravating or yung nagpapataas ng penalty ng crime? Or meron bang mitigating circumstances na, na nagaganap? Or yung mga circumstances na maaaring makapag-cause ng mababa na uh, sentence ng isang penalty? So, yun yun. So, para maintindihan natin, guys, yung Article 50 to Article 57 na provision, meron akong diagram na ginawa dito. Please excuse my penmanship again. Napakapangit po nyan, guys. I'm fully aware of that. So, dito sa portion na to, guys, ito yung participation ng mga person na liable sa isang crime. So, kung ang isang offender or isang accused is nag-participate ba siya as a principal, or yung offender or accused ba na participate siya as a accomplice or yung offender or accused ba na participate siya sa accessories. Isa ito sa mga basis, guys, kung paano natin madidetermine yung extent ng penalty ng isang offender or accused. Well, dito naman, guys, sa ibabaw na portion, yan, this one, ito, 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 yan. Ito naman yung mga stages na na-reach ng crime, guys. 
Example, for consummated, successfully ba niya nagawa yung crime na si bonggang bongga? So, dyan yung consummated. This one is the frustrated naman na portion na to. And this one is the attempted. So, itong row na to, guys, this one is for attempted. Ito naman is for frustrated. And ito naman is for consummated. A row ba? Parang column. Itong column. Then, this row is for principal, for accomplice, and for accessories. So, yung zero dyan, guys, as you may see, meron tayong zero. So, yung zero na yan, guys, it represents the penalty prescribed by law in defining a crime, which is to be imposed on the principal in, the, in a consummated offense in accordance with the provision of Article 46. Meron mga specific numbers na nilagay ako niyan. This is for Article 46. So, eto guys, etong rule na to, yung zero na yan, yung basis natin dyan is yung Article 46. Di ba yung Article 46, guys, nagbigay siya ng general rule sa application ng penalty, in which ang penalty daw, guys, is ma-apply siya dun sa principal or yung tao talaga na nag-commit physically ng crime at dun sa crime na successfully niyang ginawa or na-consume. So, yung zero na yan, guys, it refers to the penalty na na-impose. So, for example, reclusion perpetua. So, that one is reclusion perpetua. Example, reclusion temporal, yung penalty niya. So, that one is reclusion temporal. So, itong zero na to, guys, nag-represent siya ng ano ba talaga yung penalty na exact na na-impose sa isang offender. Ganon. So, dito naman, guys, ito yung Article 50. Diba yung Article 50 sabi niya, penalty next lower in degree than that prescribed by law for the consummated felony shall be imposed upon the principal in a frustrated felony. So, to be simple, guys, at para mas maintindihan nyo, so, ganito hila lang natin. So, kapag ikaw si principal, guys, at yung crime na nakumit mo is consummated or successfully mo talagang ginawa, ang equivalent ng punishment sa you guys, is yung equivalent sa punishment na ni-render or na, na nasa book ng RPC or na-define under the RPC. Kapag ikaw naman si principal, guys, at yung stage ng commission mo sa crime is only frustrated, hindi siya successful, yung penalty mo, guys, would be one degree lower sa consummated. So, ganun yun. So, yung ibig sabihin ko, guys, na one degree lower chat is yung uh, penalty na tinutukoy natin sa Article 71, which is this one. So, for example, yung offender is, ano siya, principal siya, pero yung nakumit niyang crime, guys, is nasa frustrated lang na stage. Tapos, yung penalty niya, guys, is prison mayor. So, since frustrated lang yung stage ng crime niya, guys. So, yung penalty niya would be one degree lower. Instead na yung original penalty ng crime na kanya ginawa, guys, is prison mayor, but because hindi talaga successfully na commit at frustrated lang, so it would be one degree lower, and then magiging prison correctional na lang yung penalty sa kanya. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. Please refer to your codal again, guys, about this one. Or kung wala kayong codal, tingnan nyo po yung nasa description box po. So, balik na tayo dito sa ating diagram, guys. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ko dyan, ba? So, kapag principal, guys, at consummated yung nagawang crime, so yung exact penalty na nasa RPC yung ang uh, mapapataw na penalty sa offender. Pero kapag principal siya, guys, and then frustrated yung stage ng crime, it would be one degree lower sa consummated na penalty. At kapag principal naman at attempted yung nakumit na crime, guys, it would be two degree lower sa consummated na penalty. So, ito yung Article 46, guys. Ito yung Article 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, at 57. So, ito yung mga provisions na yun, guys. So, kapag consummated yung crime, pero accomplice lang siya, guys, yung participation niya, it would be one degree lower sa consummated. Kapag frustrated, guys, at accomplice lang yung participation niya, it would be one degree lower sa frustrated. Kapag attempted naman at accomplice yung participation niya, it would be one degree lower dito sa attempted. So, kapag consummated tapos accessory, accessories lang siya guys, it would be two degree lower sa consummated. Pero kapag frustrated tapos accessory lang siya guys, it would be two degree lower dito sa frustrated. Pero kapag attempted naman tsaka accessory, it would be 2 degree lower dito sa attempted. So, dito guys, itong 50, 51, 52, at saka 53 guys, yung basis nila is yung consummated. So, ito yung basis nila guys. 
sa pagbawas ng degree. So, 1 degree lower, 2 degree lower, 1 degree lower, 2 degree lower. But dito naman guys, itong 54 at 55, yung basis nila is yung prostrated. So, for example, 1 degree lower dito sa prostrated, 2 degree lower dito sa prostrated, which is 3. At dito naman guys, sa 56 at 57, yung basis nila is yung attempted. So, for example, 1 degree lower, dito sila nagbibase. So, kapag 1 degree lower galing dito, guys, that would be 3. So, kapag 2 degree lower, guys, ito yung mabibase siya. Dito siya magsistart. So, since 2 degree lower galing dito, so 1, 2, so magiging 4. So, yun yun. So, let's have an example, guys, para maintindihan natin itong provision na ito ng bonggang bongga. So, for example, A as principal, tapos si B naman, guys, is si accomplice. Tapos si C is si accessory. They are convicted of consummated homicide. And the penalty of A is reclusion temporal. He being the principal. While the penalty of B guys would be prison mayor, which is the penalty next lower in degree than that prescribed for the consummated homicide. And then the penalty of C guys is prison correctional, it being 2 degree lower than that prescribed for consummated homicide. So, sa example ko, guys, so yung nakumit nila A, B, at C na crime is homicide, guys, which is punishable with reclusion temporal. Si A, guys, siya yung principal, di ba? So, yung penalty niya is reclu reclusion temporal talaga. Well, si B naman, guys, is si accomplice. So, si B, guys, si B, guys, yung crime nila is consummated, di ba? Pero si B is si accomplice lang. So, 1 degree lower siya yung penalty niya dun sa consummated na penalty. At yung consummated na penalty natin dito guys is si reclusion temporal, di ba? So, since si B is, uh, since si B is si accomplice, so 1 degree lower siya. So, yung penalty niya lang guys is si prison mayor. Ito yung 1 degree, di ba? By degree, degree. So, by, uh, by penalty talaga. At C naman guys, which is C accessory. At C accessory guys, sa consummated na penalty would be 2 degree lower than that on the consummated. So, si C guys, since si C is accessory lang siya, so from reclusion temporal, let's count 2 because it is stated there na 2 degree lower siya. So, 1, 2. So, yung penalty na ni C guys is prison correctional. So, meron tayong exemptions or exceptions sa mga provisions na to guys from article 50 to article 57. So, article 50 to article 57 shall not apply to cases where the law expressly prescribes the penalty for a frustrated or attempted felony or to be imposed upon accomplice or accessory cited in Article 60. So, dito guys, yung exemption ng provisions ng Article 50 to Article 57 is that kapag specifically nag-provide yung law or expressly nag-provide yung law ng penalties for um, principal, accomplice, or for attempted, or yung mga ganun -ganun. Kapag specific nag-provide guys, so hindi na siya applicable itong 50 to 57 na provision. So, I think this ends my video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. I really did try my best to explain it guys. So, sana may natutunan kayo. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye!